this thing. Uh, a couple things. You might have seen the previous video, which I'm wearing the same stuff. It's not that I don't shower. It's that I am shooting the videos the same day because I'm so busy usually that I don't have a lot of time to take to shoot videos often. So when I have time, I shoot a couple videos in the same day. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Okay, what I have here, this tiny box is a frame. Surprisingly, some frames, the way, design, the way they are designed, fit in a little box. What this is, is a newbie drone, newbie drone flyby. I am here giving you a review of a frame, wearing an Impulse RC t-shirt. I spread the love, whatever. The point is that this one is by newbie drone. And by the way, Nubi Drone does sell some of these too. They sell, I know that you got some of the Steel Aliens recently. So this is not the Helix, but let's look at this frame real quick. Now the reason I'm showing you this now in a bit of a informal way is because I kind of want to start building it already and I want to document it. So before I do that, I wanted to at least show it to you. I'll put a weight on the screen so you know how much it weighs. I know it's very light. It's meant to be a race frame and it's meant to be very modular in that I should have brought a knife, shouldn't I? I didn't want to run upstairs so I went to the kitchen and got these. Um, let's open it up. First of all, the arms are 6 mil. I'm pretty sure they're 6 mil. So they're very, very tough. They're short too which helps with the with the uh, strength and torsion, so it doesn't, they don't, they don't twist. Uh, this one, I believe, is a near production version, but it's still pre production. I believe the production versions won't have that hole there, only have three. And the reason for that, as you can see, is kind of thin there, so it, it creates an area where they can snap. So for the production version, they've, redu they've taken the hole out, I'm pretty sure, and it's only running three. At least that's what I read on the, on the website. They're chamfered, so they look really nice and high quality. I don't tend to, sp I spend the time um, uh, filing my freestyle frames because they last a lot longer, but my race frames I don't bother because they don't last very long. Uh, I th thrash them so much that I, I just not don't put the time to chamfer them all nicely like these do. So it's nice when they already come chamfered because I can, they look great and I don't have to go through the trouble that I won't go through the trouble anyway. Um, so it comes with forearms, it, it comes with the um, press nuts already installed and hardware which this is steel but I think um, yeah these are steel but I think um, Levi told me that there were some titanium ones so maybe I was wrong but it comes with the uh, steel hardware standoffs as you can see it's actually very simple uh, and the reason for that is because we want it to be light um, this was mainly developed between Levi, Leviathan, and Newbie Drone. I had some input into it when we, they were first developing it. Um, I, one thing I said I was wanted the, the arms to be longer because if you want to run a 6S, bat, 6S battery, uh, originally it fit, but the space between the props and the battery was too short. I actually requested the four holes, so I'm sure that's why they added them because I like to soft mount my motors and when you, when you have three holes only even if you put, you tighten them nicely even the, the motor tends to go like this because it squishes this side more than that one so because of my like to soft mount I asked for four holes but um, if they well I have four holes here so I'll, I'll go ahead and use them but if the production ones don't have it then I would just won't soft mount it um, okay uh, this is the uh, main plate and let's look at what's really important here, which is this aluminum hardware. Which, maybe this is titanium. <laughs> I gotta ask Levi. I'll put it in the notes if it is titanium or not, but, um, or aluminum. But it definitely has a darker tint of titanium compared to aluminum. Uh, which would be nice because it means it will be stronger. It might actually be titanium. But anyway, the point is that this um, this frame you can build it 
uh, inverted or the other way around normally. Uh, I'll show you pictures of how it actually looks and then you can run a battery in many different ways. The thing is that the, the frame is designed to be very flexible in the way you build it with the battery like this, the battery like that, upside down, right side up, whatever you want. And it's meant to fit a, I believe a micro camera only with these with spacers and the spacers. Sorry if I don't sound like I know what I'm doing because I just got it and I am still learning about it even though I had some input into it. This is the antenna holder. I'll keep doing videos as far as this follow up so you can see how it develops. Um, here's the antenna holder and the, these are the inserts for the camera. So basically these go there and you know, uh, somehow. Yeah, they fit into that thing so that it spaces the camera properly for, um, so it doesn't slip. That's it. There you go. So that, it adds basically some quite. A, this is rubber, so it, it adds a grip so the camera doesn't not, doesn't tilt. Same thing with this. This is a type of rubber, flexible, so it doesn't break the antennas, but also very tough, so it doesn't break, doesn't tear. And you know what? That is pretty much it. I think the the real magic in this thing is these parts. Very few frames. I know Armatan does a lot of aluminum. But um, very few companies do nice aluminum parts like this or titanium, I'll, I'll find out. I think the production version might be aluminum based on production costs, we'll find out. But as you can see, everything is chamfered very nicely. And then there's another plate here and that one. I'll, um, I'll go into more detail with the build. So this is just an intro video. Um, so you can see what the frame is all about. It's on pre-order now on newbiedrone.com. It might be already here shipping by the time you see this video. So make sure to go check them out. Newbiedrone.com is a flyby, like drive-by, but flyby. And uh, yeah, um, the main thing about this frame is that it's, it's, it's very light. Oh, it's meant for 20 by 20 stacks. So um, I don't think the Magnum 20 by 20 stack will fit, the Emacs one. I'm going to run an Ori 32 ESC with a CL Racing F4 Mini and also the Talon F4 will fit as well. And those, even though the Ori is meant for 4 to 5S, it runs 5 to 6S with a cap. So I know all these guys are running 6S on it and it's just fine. And this one's going to be a 6S build as well. Alright, there you have it, the flyby.